Hi, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is another flight of my DM007 spy quadcopter with an 808 keychain camera attached instead of its uh, uh, stock camera. But what I'm really here to do today is I've done a modification to my transmitter. I was not uh, satisfied with the ranges I was getting with the with this transmitter. I was only getting out to a range of about 70 meters before I'd lose, lose contact with the quadcopter and the quadcopter would start dropping and after that it'd be entering vortex ring state because of that drop and I just need to get a much better range than 70 meters uh, for me to be satisfied with this quadcopter for the use that I want it and that's for aerial video with this 808 keychain camera. Uh, so what I did was I removed the stock camera or the stock uh, uh, antenna that came with this and replaced it with a single copper wire. Uh, the wire is 93 millimeters in length uh, from the point where I soldered it onto the uh, uh, circuit board. Uh, that makes it three quarter wavelength antenna at 2.4 gigahertz. I'm hoping that will increase the range of this quadcopter. Uh, one thing I have to uh, take note of is uh, with a three quarter wavelength antenna um, it's going to be uh, somewhat directional antenna. I'm going to need to point the sides of the antenna at the quadcopter as it's flying uh, to maintain contact, especially when it's at a distance. Um, you don't want to point the tip of the antenna at the quadcopter because uh, less energy is coming out the tip and that, that's how you get increased range. Uh, less energy comes out the tip and that, extra, that energy instead of going out the tip is coming out the sides. Uh, more energy is coming out the sides of the antenna. So. Uh, let's go for a flight and see if this antenna actually works. I'm hoping it does, but we'll see. Okay, Quadcopter 101, let's give it a shot. Now I have a 5 mile per hour wind uh, coming from the east. I'm going to go to intermediate or high rate to fight that wind. Let's go for a flight. And I'm pointing the sides of the antenna at the Quadcopter. Let's see if I can get some range with this. I don't want to go too high. Walking over to the field. I had a drop out there. Okay, going up upwind again. Okay, that was seventy meters there. Vortex ring state. Three, four, five, six, pacing at seven, eight, 50, 51, 52, 52 feet, 150, 156 feet. Okay, going up again. Now this thing enters vortex ring state very easily. I'm pointing the sides of the antenna, holding the uh, transmitter right in front of my face <laughs> so I know that sides of these antennas are pointing right at it. That's it. <laughs> this thing enters vortex ring state too easily with this uh, 808 keychain camera. I'm going to take the 808 off. And fly without it. Okay, I've removed uh, the camera. Um, if you get the slightest glitch in reception and, and the slightest hiccup with the in the motors, uh, this thing goes right into VRS with that 808 camera. So uh, I'm not recommending the 808 camera on this quadcopter. I'm gonna fly it without the uh, camera and let's see what kind of uh, normal ranges I get just flying it around without the camera, giving me a chance to break out of VRS. <laughs> So, quadcopter I believe is still bound. Let's go for a flight again. Oh, much more nimble without a camera on it, surprisingly. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm at 70 meters now. I got a little glitch there. I'm at 100 meters now. I got much better range now. But. Like I said, since it's directional, you can uh, get little glitches in the reception. That was a hundred. 
I'm gonna back up. Let's take it a little further. Let's see if we can go to 120. See how I'm holding the uh, transmitter? Okay. Okay, I'm at about 120 right now there. So it's about 120 before I lost reception again. 120 meters. Okay, backing up a little further. Very high right now too. Still pointing it. Okay, lost reception again. So the range seems to be about 120 meters with this, uh, I'm guessing here about 120 meters. That's about how far that pylon is over there with this modified antenna. Um, it, when it drops, you don't want to have a lot of weight on this quadcopter. Namely that 808 keychain camera I believe is too heavy for this thing, as you saw. It'll, too easily go into vortex ring state with that much weight but the stock camera I'm gonna have to try next with this antenna mod 120 meters is a good range that I, I'd be happy with 100 you know anything over 100 okay well let's bring it in bring it down low so you can see it I'm sure you can't even see it up there where I was at Hi, you gort. Let's do a flip. <laughs> Again, we got a five mile hour wind and he's fighting here. Okay, that answers my curiosity of this, whether it can fly with this antenna and if it increases the range any, and apparently it does. So, this is Quadcopter 101, signing off. Hope you enjoyed the flight.